Hi, Joe here. I'm a uh, builder of uh, electric bikes and scooters or modifier. I don't build them completely. I put on electric bike kits and scooters and I'm just doing a video on something that you might find interesting. Uh, I've been given this uh, hub motor. quite a heavy little hub motor and it's come off a uh, Rion scooter and uh, it's got a problem it makes a bit of noise plus if you look internally at the windings which you probably can't see on video they're uh, rather dark it's uh, been cooked I think it still works but uh, she's been overheated and uh, it's got other problems as well. It, uh, as I said, it makes a bit of noise. Now, I can, I'll show you in a minute. But um, you can see that uh, it's full of holes in here. Now, there's holes on both sides. Now, this motor is not a direct drive hub motor. It's a geared hub motor. It's, you can see, if you look in the holes in there, you can see the uh, flywheel and it's got planetary gears in it and I think that's the cause of the noise that it makes there's something wrong with them anyway I'll show you now I've set the motor up in a vise there it is there I'm going to uh, connect it up to a controller that I have in here it's been covered over because I had it on a bike for a while and uh, it's still got the cover on it so you can't see it but it's a 25 amp controller Chinese brand controller and uh, I've got a heap of batteries here that I connected up to this is a 36 volt battery and I've got it in series with a 12 volt battery giving me a total of 48 volts and uh, I'll run it on that. Now I'm not quite sure what this motor worked on. It came off, uh, as I said before, a Rion scooter. I don't know what the uh, power rating on it is. The chap that gave it to me sort of suggested it might be a 250 watt or 500 watt uh, hub motor. It was a bit underpowered for him. He wanted something like a 3000 watt motor put on it because it, uh, it wouldn't go fast enough. So um, that and the, the fact that it's making a bit of noise, uh, he didn't want it and uh, gave it to me. And so I'm going to take it apart. I'll, I'll show you how you take it apart I've, and uh, see what's wrong with it. Now I'm going to connect it up to the controller. There's... Uh, it came with uh, unwired, well, unconnected. I've put that connector on it for the whole sensor wires and it's got the three phase wires on it there that I just uh, put into the controller. I've got it all hooked up here. The phase wires and the sensor wires, the whole sensors. Through there, the phase wires are directly connected to the controller. I've also connected a throttle and there's the handlebar for the throttle. Good handlebar, nice wooden beam. Now, if I turn it on and zoom it with the throttle, you can hear it. Now, here it is. There it is. If she goes quite well. Uh, despite having uh, the uh, the wiring a, a little bit dark in there, being uh, cooked a bit. And it goes okay, but it makes this noise. I will just see if you can... There's a clunking that you can hear in there. Okay, so there's, there's something wrong with it. And it's in the gearing. I don't think it's in the motor. Okay, I don't want to run it too much while it's making that noise. 
So let's pull it apart and have a look. Got an Allen key for the first bit. Just loosen off the the uh, screws on the front of the motor. Now I'm undoing the side that's got the the gears in it, the planetary gears. Okay, there's a nut here that I better remove. Okay. Let's uh, undo these a little bit quicker. There we go. There's the inside of the motor where the planetary gears are housed. Doesn't look too bad from here. There's nothing really obvious. Okay, now the next step is to try to remove this. Now, of course, that's uh, pressed in there so uh, it won't just lift off okay so next step okay what you see here is how to remove the pressed in uh, flywheel the planetary gears the clutch as they call it but it's not a clutch in this this just doesn't have a clutch and like uh, some other hub motors this is just a solid plate with the three planetary gears attached now, I've modified a puller to fit the plate, and uh, let's see if it comes off. Okay, got a spanner on the puller, and away we go. Let's see, she lifts off. She's pressed in quite well, but there she goes, she's coming off. Okay, let's uh, remove the puller, put that down, and lift off now the washer that I better catch. A little washer. And there we go, there are the gears. And they're full of grease. And as I suspected, looking at them, ah, oh, good grief, they've been chewed up a bit. You can see, see just there, the teeth are chewed up on that gear. Oh, there's a great big section there that's all chewed up. You can see it. Uh, that's one gear. These gears are nylon. You can get uh, metal gears, steel gears on these. The only difference is that the motor is a lot noisier with the, with the metal gears. Now there's the other gear. That's got chewed up teeth on it as well. Oh, quite bad in some sections in there. Oh, gee, where's... Instead of my finger, I'll show you with the pointer. You can see that there's big chunks of gear missing there. Yeah, see through there, there, there. It's all broken, broken. Quite a bad break in those two teeth. Uh, so that's the second gear. And the last gear, let's have a look at that one. That one also, no, oh yeah, yeah. It's got one, two, three teeth that have got chunks missing out of them. Now, that would be what's causing 
that noise. There's a little chunk of a little bit of nylon that's been that's fallen out on the tip of my finger there. So they're falling to bits. Now I reckon the reason for that is the holes. They put cooling holes in this motor and uh, you ride that on a bit of a dirt road or uh, where there's a bit of gravel and uh, something gets into the holes and that's what's done this I reckon it's chewed the teeth on it I sort of suspected that it might be the gears that are making the noise because I've done this sort of stuff before and uh, I've had broken teeth on gears before and uh, they made similar sort of noises on other motors not on this one this is just one that I've been given now um, in anticipation of it being a gear problem I bought myself some new ones there we go there's some new gears these from Alibaba came all the way from China because you couldn't get them locally here in Australia and uh, they're uh, 28 tooth gears with a 38 millimeter diameter so uh, I'll replace these gears, the broken gears, with these, and we'll see how we go. Now, to remove the gears from this assembly, there are some little split rings inside the uh, bearing, or holding the bearing onto the shaft there, as you can see. So I've got to remove those. Okay. Now, let's see if we can take one of these out. Slides around a little bit tricky. There you go. I've managed to get that off. There's the little circlet that holds it, and once that's off, the wheel should come off. There we go. and that of course gets replaced by spanking brand new wheel no problems with that wheel as you can see that fits on there okay and the circlet goes back to hold it now I won't bore you with the fitting of all of the the three gears I'll uh, I'll do that off camera and reinstall the motor and we'll see what happens. Now I've installed the, the gears and uh, re-greased them. So we we'll use the same grease that we've got there. Now I'm going to reinsert this back into the motor. Now this is not quite as easy there we go now because it was a press fit I'm going to have to uh, tap it back in Gently tap that back into position. Okay, tip bottom. Put the washer back on. Still turns. Okay, I'll put the cover back on and we'll give it a blast and see how she sounds. Okay, there it is, all put back together again. 
Now, one of the things that I've done with this motor is that I've actually sealed all of the holes. I've put some tape over the holes because I reckon that's what caused the problem in the first place. So, uh, when I test the motor, if I ever use it, that is, I'll see if I get a scooter to put it on, I'll see if it overheats or not. If it overheats, I'll have to uh, open it up again, but um, it's what causes the problems. You can't help dirt getting in once you've got the motor exposed, and everything is uh, very finely tolerant, especially the distance between the magnets and the, uh, the stator of the motor. So anyway, let's try it out. I've got it all hooked up. Now that sounds a little bit nicer. Yeah. She goes quite well. Okay, well that'll be it. That's, for anyone that's interested, that's a... Uh, planetary gear repair on a geared hub motor off a scooter okay thanks very much for watching and if you like it subscribe okay thank you